Hi everybody. So um, what I'm going to show you in this video is I'll show you how to set up Docker with um, Docker with Docker installation nodes, and then uh, we'll also be deploying the application. Deploy an application. This is an example application we have. So we will deploy that with Docker itself. Before that, let's dive in what actually Docker is. If you ask ChatGPT, can you draw an image for me how Docker works? Can you please draw a diagram for me how Docker works internally and using a server, Redis, Postgres, etc. Just draw me a diagram and nothing else. So here we just get a simple diagram how Docker works and then then we can proceed start proceed to start um, I'll show you how to set up Docker with Docker itself. It's taking some time here. It says analyzing. Oh my god. I have to edit this part out. I've actually, uh, before this video, I've actually created a. Um, I've run this query. And then the, Im uh, the image that was created was with this. So I'll show you this part. So, how it actually works is this would be the server that we have. So this server is our current computer itself, or you could say it's a server in the cloud. And then the Docker instance, the application is running. And then there's a Docker daemon inside. And inside that, there are a couple of containers with our applications. So this would be app one, that would be the website. And then it could be, this could be the server part. Uh, the website could be talking to the server I itself. And then the server could be connected with the database and Redis. So what we're going to do right now is set up um, Docker, the Docker installation nodes. So let's copy this uh, command here, and then we'll pull Docker. I'm just going to open my terminal here, and then run that command. So I've already run this before. If you're running this first time, there'll be a lot of downloading procedures here. So yeah, you should wait a little. I'm speeding up this video for you. And then next, um, we'll follow this um, Docker Compose. We'll copy this here. We'll set up Docker Compose or YAML file. Let's say um, create a new document. Let's open this baby up with um, VS Code. Oh, yeah. So I have to do this to make this work. I'm going to open this up in VS Code. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this here. Right. And I'm going to say, uh, all right, this would be a new terminal that you open. And then what you could say is um, Docker compose up. So Docker Compose, I think the spelling is wrong. Or did I let's try to rename this? So what was the error again? Empty compose file. Oh, I need to save this file. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So if you're running for the first time, it'll, it'll do a lot of downloads, and then this would it'll set up like this. So our next after that, when we scroll down this part, it says here we need to set set up our SSH key. With so um, so if you go ahead to push an application inside um, Docker, what we're doing is we're pushing application from our main server and then towards Docker itself. So we need to set up an SSH key. So what we're going to do is we'll head over to .ssh folder 
So I'm gonna scope behind like this. And then um, let's say SSH keygen. So I'll say SSH keygen dash T and I'll be using this. So this would be the latest 256 version. Or you could just skip the whole thing and just say um, SSH keygen. I'm going to name this docu. All right. So I'm going to list this. I can see here I have a docu and a docu private and a public key. And also another thing is if you scroll down here it says you should add this part in the config file. So I'm going to create a new config file. Um, let's go ahead and say touch config and then let's do nano. I mean I'm a Wim user but I like nano. It's faster. And the, ha the tricky part here is rather than naming it docu.docker, you should name it docu.me. So because we have mentioned here in our um, docu hostname as docu.me, right? And then we'll write this. Okay, let's do a cat on config. Is it safe? Yes. So after that, um, let's go ahead and install an application. I just want to check if um, Docker is running. So we'll just bash, bash into Docker itself. Let's create a new terminal here and then I'm going to space this. So now I can say dash dash version. Yeah, Docker is running. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to app, uh, deploying applications. Let's kick clone this part. It's a tutorial to, I'll just show you how it works. Let's copy this. Okay. And then let's go create a new terminal here. I'm going to get clone. Oh my God. They even pasted the um, comment. That's pretty nifty. Okay. It's already downloaded because it'll take a couple of minutes for you. I've already done this before. And then you can go ahead and create a new Ruby applications. How you, the way Docker works is you create applications and then um, you connect. Then you can install Postgres over here. You can see it's installing Postgres and you can create a new Postgres instance and then you connect it with the application. So it'll give you a um, environment variable, things like that. So we go ahead and say, okay, this should be done inside our, um, the docker host itself. So we'll uh, install Postgres inside the docker host. So I think you guys remember, you can get inside docker host by saying um, docker exec dash it. Right. And then I'm going to paste that. So this poster is already installed for you. It'll um, speed things up because I've already done this before. I'm going to connect it here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to link with mail database. All right. That is also done. Wait a minute. Um, for the SSH host thing to work, we also need to check if SSH keygen is working. So I'm going to say SSH keys. And then I'm going to say list. Okay, there is no uh, keys found. So what we need to do is we go back to the get started part, uh, the Docker installation notes. Over here they say right echo into echo your public key towards ssh key so yeah so the ssh key that we created before we're gonna output it so docu.public key i'm gonna copy this all right i'm gonna go back to my docu host instance itself i'm gonna clear this okay and then um, I'm going to do this echo my pu uh, public key and then SSD add. Let's do that. So 
say echo my public key then i'm going to pipe it to doc2 and then uh, ssh keys and i'm going to call it admin right so it gave me a new um, key name that's it so that part is done and we'll go back to our application management again deploying right and then we'll get started by saying git remote app so this would be done in our local server itself not inside the docker host let's go back here so this is our local local ruby get started so a little uh, info about what ruby get started is it's just a normal um, if you go to the github link that we have given it's just a normal hmm, what is it called a bare bone rails app if you start this up it'll show you some ui and and you get to know if it's working or not that's it right and let's go ahead and do that it's a remote ad i'm gonna cd into maybe get started and let's do remote ad so the thing about here is um, remember we changed our host name to docker.me so this is how it works if it was docker.docker .docker, that would be a problem right so what i'm actually saying is go ahead and in my config file you can see here right docker.me you can actually say ssh into docker.me itself so here it's going to ask some password uh, but skip that but it works that's the thing and for you i've already done this before for you you might ask um, say yes to the config file and just press yes all right okay let's go ahead after that we're gonna push to doc main right so here what what has happened is we have added our docu dot docu docu at docu dot me that will be this docu dot me is the host the docu server is running in docker container that we have we go and check um let's create a new terminal here go ahead and docker and say ps you can see a docu instance running right so we are actually sshing into this instance that's what's happening and here what it says is we're gonna push it's, gonna, it's installing and yeah after that just open up the application and see it works so if you're thinking to put this in production much better easier way would be setting it up through um, DigitalOcean droplets just have to click 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 and install that's it it's pretty easy and there's a little ui that'll show up i might record a video on that later and then you can also do it on microsoft azure as well vagrant and dreamhost things like that all right let's let's wait for this thing to work huh. And another thing like you would say is um, docu you can scale the apps you know in docu itself so we go go ahead and scroll down to where is it process management this um, yeah over here come down over here and scaling apps you can actually scale the app by seeing node app web one you can say web two web three things like that and scale the number of containers inside an application and what you would actually do is um docu is great for vertical st style of hosting so let's say your current server size is somewhere around 10 gb ram uh, 50 gb ssd and then later on if you get a lot of traffic you just keep increasing the size of your server 10 g to 20 gb uh, increase ssd size increase the cpu size to one to two, two cpus things like that it's great for that so another thing good thing about that is you can keep increasing 
the um, the server size and also you can also readily deploy your application to top itself so it can do version updates and things like that so it's much easier that's why everybody uses top so over here you can see our application has deployed it has deployed to HTTPS it's this thing is like production ready now so you can go ahead and say localhost ADAD you can see the application is running now okay. right so this would be the get started by Heroku. So that is it guys. We have just created Docker with Docker uh, deployment. And yeah, so just let me know in the comments what other videos you wanna, sh should I be creating based on Docker? Maybe I can do scaling, maybe I can do a Docker image um, process, or maybe I can talk about other proxy configuration, things like that, yeah. Thank you so much. Bye.